I'll say 36. it. Six. Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 36 of Isekai Dungeons and Dragons. In this episode, Daniel Green has a pinched nerve in his neck. So if you see him stretch. <laughs> Don't mention his weird don't, stretch, guys. Don't, yeah. Guys, don't think don't about it. Don't. it if he stretches, it's it's fine. It's just because of his pitch nerve, but don't think about now, that. Now, for our blind listeners, you don't have to worry about that yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, You're good. Yeah. 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 Unless keep you in the loop. It, you know? Yeah, unless he I'll, makes I'll noises. Make are you, yeah, I'll, I'll are you a like, noise stretcher? Because <clears throat> <you know? laughs> when I stretch, I really do make noises, like proper. Yeah, he yeah. makes some... I, 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 I go all out. I call them like I dad do. noises. It's like oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I do yoga, but yeah. I do yeah. just Kayla. Because if I was in a classroom, I would <laughs> one, I make grunts, and two, I'm gassy. Like I can't. Oh <laughs> yeah. Fresh. Oh I'm yeah. Just for pulling oh. gas. I am also a grunter and a farter. Just like yeah. Okay. We're just men. We're men. <laughs> <laughs> I consistently grunt and fart, just oh, on a daily yeah. basis. Can I feel I like just it... say that beanie is freaking awesome. Thank you. It's my friend Chow. She made it. Um, it's very cool. Oh, right? It's got oh, all the eyes. Shout out. Totally derailed the conversation. I'm sorry. Oh, it's all good. You, you did derail it off groaning and farting, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> 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 yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Look at that, both 36. We're, episode yeah, 36. Let's episode go. Episode 36. <laughs> that is three plus six is nine. Uh, if you. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It sure is. True. That's that, something to think about, guys. For yes, those at yeah. home. <laughs> if you, I think that, of 11 being greater than 4. That's what I think of often. Well, what, what's that called? Digital root. It's the digital root of 36 is 9. Um, mm, and that fantastic. Means, that means if you had, you would be able to open the number 9 door in 999. Anyway, let's, let's begin. Uh, the last thing that happened was... Palma is alive, by the way. Palma is alive. You did spare her. Mm -hmm. She's tied up next to a burning chandelier well burnt out anthony the firefighter which this is the first time it's been relevant that he's a firefighter put out the fire and, he was the okay. one that caused the fire <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well you know hey, explode hey. pull more in a in a ball of flame you know what they sometimes say sometimes you do have to fight fire with fire that is a thing it, that it was a team yeah. effort right. he he yeah. made the grease yeah. yes and then he started shot. the fire the sh the shark dropped the chandelier, so if that was the fuel. If there's anybody qualified to use a flamethrower, it would be me, because yeah. I'm a That's fire right. inspector. Are, I'm a professional. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. you know, fuck the fire brigade. You know that song? <laughs> <laughs> Oh well, yeah, they, in no. my time, in my time, they have it. Schwabity sings it. Yeah, yeah fuck they, the yeah. fire department, <laughs> running by unannounced just to fry your apartment. Shout out that mm. that. Yep. It's a, it's a good song. It's a legitimate song. Look it up. Oh, it's, it's an actual thing. It's okay. a co it's right. a commentary on corrupt police. Um, I was going to say that there's another it's, it's song. It's very good. Yeah. It's very good. All right. Um, okay. okay. So you guys are currently still in the, the church locale. Um, with Tell you what, your introductions to these episodes are getting worse and worse. Who 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 was even on this show? <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. How am I supposed to know who the characters are? Daniel? <laughs> episode thirty fucking six. I, 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 I genuinely. I'm gonna forget We're introducing the a new you character don't tell today, me guys. Oh. At the beginning of every episode, you need to remind me. Listen, I must be doing a good job because His Majesty King Hood has just gifted twenty sub <laughs> subs ah. to, to the course of that. Thank you, you, Thank you, Your Majesty. I am here with. Brie Briggs Norman. Oh, hi guys, thanks for the sub gamers. I'm here with Anthony Teching 101. Firefighter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's, it's my something... profession. Go <laughs> on. Yeah. Firefighter. Firefighter. Like you're selecting him at a fighting game. The shark, <laughs> Daniel Green. One piece spoiler. And oh, <laughs> fuck you. Cody Schwabody. <laughs> I'm not caught up. Um, no, and... <laughs> you will be uh, soon though. So the 7-Eleven cashier. <laughs> that's what that's Cody's job, really, in the eighties. So 7-Eleven cashier. <laughs> uh, oh my god, I really choked. So yeah, we were just announcing our professions. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, I he, know, Cody he, did that actually. I didn't know. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. actually make money from going to the gym. He just he does. He it's just it's a side thing right now. It's yeah. not his main gig. Is he's a personal trainer? Does so Cody enter like Mister Mister Universe kind of like like a weightlifting or bodybuilding competitions? Oh, or he's anything? not. He's not. He's not. No. Okay. No. Alright, I gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, you guys are in this church in the lung. Yes. Uh, Pomo is captured. Pomo is captured. She's on the ground. One HP, hands tied. She is 
shouting expletives at you. Um, I'm gonna try to patch her up so she doesn't die of severe bo burn injuries all over her body. Oh yeah, she's got burn yeah. scars all over her yeah. body at the moment. It's alright, like, ma'am! Ma'am, please, just let me help you! You do not understand! She, she, is, she is conscious. She is yeah, conscious. She's conscious. Uh, and she's yeah. angry. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, she's mm -hmm. pissed. You will burn in hell! Ma'am, please! <laughs> oh, <laughs> <swear, laughs> ma'am, if you elevate your heart rate any higher, you could have a stroke. <laughs> Calm down, ma'am. Okay, right. Br Briggs has just gotten out his bingo card for the episode. <laughs> there was ten different variations. I printed them all out, I just glanced over to my side of the goal. I have all right, the variations yeah. there, might as well do it. Uh, okay, well, she is, yeah, I, she, she's I think perturbed. we can just leave her here. She's, she's stable. Don't you dare she's... fucking leave me here! I am unstable! <laughs> I mean, she's covered. Oh, she's clearly unstable yeah, mentally, and covered with burns. Unstable. She's very. She could die easily in this oh. condition. There's two priests here to look after her. The priests look over. Ooh. Uh, do any of you know how to deal with a severe burn victim? Uh, they both look at each other, then look at you, and then shake their head. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Um. All right. I mean, I, I can I can cure wounds on her. Which will, that, yeah, will heal her will enough that her, none of her wounds yeah. will be life threatening. I forgot that magic exists. That would make it so much yeah. better in my world if we had magic. Yeah. I, I'm going right. to cast cure wounds. Just the first level. Damn! Wow, damn! That's like the best cure wounds so you possibly much. could do. Oh, Max um, cure wounds, you, but only first level, of course. You, I, I totally you forgot. Reinvigorate her so she breaks out. She's I am back! No. <laughs> All right, her burns just heal up like skin graft nah, immediately. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's cool. I she'll love that. She'll still have some yeah. like burn scars, you know, that make her character. Yeah, you'll be fine. Cool. You're out of the worst of it. She will look okay. more interesting from a character design perspective. Yeah. Um, but she's still beautiful. She, by the way, the the art of Pulmo came out last week or whatever. It's so good. Yeah, it's Shout yeah. Keiru. He's so um, good at drawing pretty characters. <laughs> yes. Um, he makes everyone hot. Yeah. He drew he joy and that's Listen, rest, you know, good he looking. is he is hot and it takes, you know, that's that's how that's true. Yeah. Um okay, so Paul Yeah, not, not not a lot of people know this, but Keiru starts every portrait of his DD character. He's taking a so picture of himself. He just draws himself <laughs> and, and changes right. the hair color. I need some inspiration. <laughs> All right, like, we're good. Like Tiger did not need to be that hot. No, <laughs> The mime okay. didn't need to be that hot, but I'm looking at him right now, and yeah. like... <laughs> okay, alright, I, I, yeah, I'll, I'll cure wounds her, and, and gotcha. as, as she's, like, healing up reinvigorated, I'll, I will just say, I'm like, we don't want to be your enemy, okay? We're just trying to free the people trapped here. The people are and... not trapped here, they live a better life here. This is the closest thing to heaven on, on this wretched Do earth. they this have is not a, a choice to leave if they want to? Then they are trapped here. All right, let's go. We got to get moving. All right, All right. that's that real song. That's the definition okay. of trapped. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just I'll just say it. One of the priests on the way out. Look after her. The desire um, to leave is a temptation from evil. All right. Okay, okay ma'am. That's it. nice. Thank All right. You. <laughs> Thank you. You for will that. not be forgiven. Right, I'll read out, the literature out. of the religion. It's okay. All right. The breathers sort of look at you. They just wave goodbye. <laughs> Bye! Bye. And they start tending to their yeah, dead friends. How's Yogg? Is Yogg still in Yogg's, werebear form? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's, he's, a, he's docile He was just eating bear. honey in the yeah. back. Yeah, he was eating honey. <laughs> yeah. um, where's our blood false friend? Oh yeah, what's, what's his name? Uh, Julag. Our blood false friend? Jul Julag. 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 Oh, I, it's, Julag. I, I will be full. It's from my list of D&D &D names. Um, and it is just J-U-L-A-U-G. Which is just July August. I'll, just, I'll, I'll call him. I'll call him Lag for short. Come on, Lag. Lag. Let's get. Um. All right, I had to go there as well. All right, so, you guys heading out? All right. Yeah. Yeah. All I'm right. I'm ready. You guys right. get back We've on this elevator. Two out of four of them, right? Two out of four. We need all. F we need all four keys to get into. Yeah. The you've got. How much time do we have left? Uh. It's hard to tell. I mean, Nov <laughs> says. Yeah. Hey. hey Mm. Don't you have clocks in here? <laughs> Do you have yeah. wristwatches? Well, Pocket now watches? Now that Pulmo is sort of detained, that she's not going to make it light in here, right? Because she yeah. was the one that made it. Yeah, she was. She was part of the re how they had like light in the um. But but the 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 issue the reason why he wanted to do it before night was it was more corpus the the. Sand Golem's sleep schedule as opposed to what is the perceived mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Um, 
so i mean it you 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 do still have time i'd say it's it's yeah it's sort of mid it was mid afternoon when you got in here so it's probably still just a bit after mid afternoon probably right. sort of like 5 p.m. ish so there's there's going to be two two left the brain guy and uh councilman loeb says nerve loeb yeah yeah, yeah. I feel like should we deal with the small fry lobe first, or should we go straight for the head? Well, well, which is closest, yeah. lobe and well, cr wait, yeah, they're both in the head, aren't they? Yeah, they both, they both there. I guess oh. whichever one we run into first. Is this yeah. going to be a double team situation? Right. Have you to be, but saying. you don't have to worry. Councilman Lobe is not a strong fighter. That's why I sent one of my goons after him to ambush him at the restaurant. Mm. I um, oh, okay. What do you think, Shark? It didn't work. But, uh, uh, yeah, it didn't work, but that wasn't because of Councilman Loeb, right? That was yeah. just, yeah. It's just bad luck. I, um, okay. Don't well, think lead us to the up. brain. Shark. Yeah, what, 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 what up, Shark? No splitting up. But if he's weak, we just made a friend. Let's send our friend to go deal with him. We I just send Lag guy. to go deal with him? All no, right. Lag. But we, yeah. I, Lag. I, I, you, <laughs> no, my, my name. Blue my name force is, agent would be a good assassin. We <laughs> sent. Oh, we, yeah, they had. A, they had a goon send them last time. Yeah, we have our own goon. I, now. I only agreed yeah. to be here so that um, I would not be killing anyone anymore. You know, oh, I yeah. want to be a lawyer. No, I, don't, I don't want you to make you do something you don't want to do. That's not. Cool. We're not asking you to kill nobody. I'm just asking you to hurt him. I. Mm, <laughs> I, I well, mean, that, I, he is a prick. I'll be honest. Now I could be honest. Well, if we need honest. somebody to hurt him, we have the world champion arm wrestling match guy right here, Bone Slaw. Bone Slaw! Yeah. Bone Slaw yeah. Yeah. But he, we just one, need we his key. Press. We just need his key. Yeah. All right, guys. As much as I'm, I'm enjoying this conversation, we don't have a ton of time until this this whole place starts moving and we start flying everywhere. Two two enemies. They're both in the same spot. I say we speed run this shit. Whether you want to knock him out, assassinate him, I really don't care at this point. All right. I, I like your you gaming always... knowledge, Norman. Let's go yeah. do that. Yeah, Norman's I'm, right. I'm let's up go. for that. Let's just we go. know the let's line. Let's roll. stick to it. All right. Let's can Nerve lead it. us to the the burn? Uh, yes. Yes, I can. All right. Do you want to just like storm the place, or are we doing this tactical with the disguise hmm. shit again? I think. I mean, I mean, we have two out of the four at this point. Yeah, Maybe we yeah, can just I think go. The reason why we didn't storm the place before was because we don't want to fight them all at once. But yeah. All right. Bone Honestly, slot, like you get out in front with Yogg and just storm the place, and then we'll just I, come in behind you. I'm feeling pretty confident. Out of my research, I I think Pomo and uh, and Bone were the definitely the strongest. I mean, mm -hmm. Cerebus oh, okay. just the guy who runs the place. He's a politician. Right. We could probably just go in there and, and he's fucking get him. It'll be easy. Easy. Right, yeah. Lead especially, the way. Especially because, you know, the... I don't know. Politicians in my day all had mech suits. I, but, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the only thing I would say is that you know we we wanted to get the part of the reason we took down uh, General Bone first is it is heavily guarded by Blood Force members. So mm -hmm. I would say we want to we want to get once we're in the brain we'll be fine. But getting to the brain will require us to I think get we through could just security. Push, with all of us together, we could just bulldoze right through the Blood Force and just get into the brain and maybe lock the doors They're behind us or through. something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I, we how, could... ma how many Blood Force members are there, Lag? Uh, what are you talking to? My what's name's Dula. What's the mech? Yeah, I've just decided to call you Lag. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a little nickname, just between. <laughs> Lag isn't a good nickname. Lag sucks. I hate it. Yeah, just uh, if you're gonna call, it's call me Ju, Jul or Jula. Ah! Just call me Julag. <laughs> just call me my <laughs> full name. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay as the shark. I'm gonna to veto pass that. Pass on that one, you know. Pass call me that. Julag. It's call me Julag. That. Just call me my full name. Is Julag? All right, fine. I'll, okay, what's your? Okay, Julag. All right, I'll call you that. <laughs> We're not close like that. I'm close with Wilhelm. I don't know you. Uh, right. well, lot. I would say maybe. I'm give him a fist bump. Yeah, bro. Okay. Uh, All right. Nerve, what's like your, the preferred route to get hey, to the Hey, I was asked here? a question and I know. Uh, let me answer the question. It's what you were, time you, you, useful. You were, you were lagging. <laughs> <laughs> there is a, a pretty bad joke. Listen, there is, there is a many, many blood force members, 20 at least on, on, in the neck, on the way to the brain. I would say that it's probably our best bet to sort of I distract them or send them away. I don't want to fight my own people. I don't want you guys to kill any more Blood Force members. Is that hey, selfish? I 
I'm not going to kill anybody. That's my whole thing. In fact, I don't think I should go by the shark anymore. I should go by an animal that's far more known for being loving. Uh, the dolphin? In my, time, in my time, the most common family dog was the pit bull. And so I think I'll be <laughs> Aww. Uh, because it's known for being a wonderful family uh, dog. You're going to call yourself pit bull? Yeah. Okay. All right, name and change. I, I'm nice. gonna, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna say that to the world worldwide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hey, um, right. hey, a shark is no more. You know, uh, do you want to learn a word in 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 Sulkin? Um, it it means friend. Sulkin these nuts. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, it, it's it's Dale. Uh, so <laughs> if you Dale means friend in Sulkin, uh, Mr. Uh -huh. Pitbull. So. Right. Um. <laughs> If I'm, I'm gonna go with Pitbull. I'm gonna call myself okay. Pitbull from now. Okay. On. Okay. All right. You, oh, I am going to continue uh, to call you the shark. Sir Jewel <laughs> can be the shark now, and I will be Pitbull. Do you want me to be the shark? Uh, what, what, um, what, and, did, yeah, and, what did Kayla scream at? So she just said, Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Okay. The, 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 also, you have your own hype man in, like, the void. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, no, that's, that's what I do in, in the pit bull's head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but I, I will say also, as a monk, I should probably shave my head now. <laughs> I mean, we can do this uh, later, pit bull. We have stuff to do. <laughs> okay. All right, anyway. Um, we are... We can we can talk while we're on road. By the way, we'll yeah we'll yeah okay, okay. Oh, I assume we're walking. Yeah, yeah yeah. I yeah, see, yeah. I see two elevator. options. I see yeah. two options. Go ahead. Number one, we just bulldoze through, get through the blood force as quickly as possible. Casualties on the way, but it speeds the process up. Number two, is we get someone to disguise as General Bone, and announce some kind of emergency, and all the blood force has to run and deal with. Pulmo being attacked. Oh, th that's actually yeah, a really good idea, says that's no. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Pulmo, the disguise didn't work on Pulmo because she A, hates General Bowman, and B, is intelligent. But mm. from my experience, most uh, Blood Force members are not very intelligent. The, Sorry, Julag. Most of us, I feel like, would have. Also, the rest of us being there kind of give it away last time. If the rest of us hide somewhere and just like Julag. I'm okay and, with that. And, the disguise have, general bone. If we have mm -hmm. the time for it, I, I, I had another option, which just kind of going along with the uh, the bulldozing option. Uh, I could use my growth ray on bone slot to just make him really huge, and then just maybe that the intimidation factor plus him just charging toward the blood force might cause them to just disperse. That was you an know, idea. If as I well. if I see a giant version of him, I can't help but think he's my champ. <laughs> he's already <laughs> he's, just he's already a. He's already large or huge or something. I mean, if I mm -hmm. make him even bigger, I mean, holy shit. The champion of size. So, if we're pressed for time, what do you think, Norman? I mean, it, it could work. I don't think we should be fighting the blood force. I do agree with that statement. I think we should okay. be taking damage on the way, wasting time fighting, and potentially killing people that we want to save. Uh, for the most part, like, we all want to mm -hmm. escape and let everyone have the choice to leave. Um but I, I don't know. I don't know if we could sneak by people or if we need to use a distraction. I think. What um, little feather suggest you could combine your two ideas easily, right? Sure. It will just goes. Holy fuck! You're here. Of course I am here. I'm always here. Don't forget about me. I... She was shooting at people with I her shoot, bow. I shoot at people with my bow and occasionally do little bits of damage to them. Mm -hmm. yeah, and mostly exactly. just watch Cody flex and you know. I, I where's, where's baby Pitbull? Uh, <laughs> he he's uh, if Puppy you're talking Pitbull. about Finn, he's at the capital right now. Um, His name is pa now. Paul now. <laughs> Paul. Oh. I, I actually bad. think he probably has a real name that uh, that, that wasn't even Finn. Not any of this. Um, oh man, no, it probably starts with Prince. Prince something, King. To be honest, now actually, is that how it works? Yeah. yeah. Well, he... I want you to know the shark retained, or sorry, Pitbull retained. <laughs> He's a Jew man. He's been reborn in the fires as Pitbull. Yeah, uh, no, he's Pitbull now. I, I, I do like Cody's idea. I do like. So um, oh, you you disguise idea. as General Bone. You big make Bone Slow big. Use him as distraction. I was, they all uh, I was chase uh, after I, Bone Slow. By the way, I was under the impression both of those spells were concentration. Disguise self is not concentration. Yeah, so no, I can use I can use enlarge really? reduce plus that. Wait. Yeah, yeah. There's but no C about, on it. What about? 
if they catch Boneslaw. He'll I be can handle it! Massive. You cannot yes, handle it, I bud. can! I, he is on you 5 fall HP. You've unconscious two times so far. I am bored slow. I can fight little blood force men. No offense, you, you lag. Can, um, can, you cure, can you cure wounds him, Cody? I I can. I have, I have spell slots. How much health is he on? Uh, he has more than five. Seven. He's on seven. So. Okay. <laughs> I'll, um... Wait, can we short uh, rest? No, that's an hour. That takes yeah, an hour. it would take a little too long. I'm going to I'm going to cure wounds on him because yeah, mm -hmm, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. I'll just use that level one though because I don't have that many spell slots. Still Ten. pretty good. Okay, it's, it's less than you gave Pulmo. Yeah, I, I mean Pulmo's was max health, mm -hmm. the max healing. Um, all right, I don't, I don't, I don't think we want to use any of our own guys as distractions. There's all right, two as you guys are talking, I can go in. I'll just go in as bone then and try to say, get them to go to Pulmo. As all you right. guys are talking, the entire you hear this low noise sort of reverberate across the caverns, a sort of <coughs> and the whole thing sort of vibrates. The ground mm. beneath you vibrates slightly mm. and then and then stays still for a little bit. Guys, we just start a lot of fires and then they have to evacuate. Did they, I don't I think they would just rather Did kill the them city rather just than cough? <laughs> I think Am I, I the only one who heard that? <laughs> Well, there are a bunch. There is a church in the lungs. That you, is a little bit of an obstruction. I mean, and you you did just sort of start a huge fire in there. Oh, I yeah. I thought the guess. lungs were like, like it was, you know, I didn't think it actually breathed through those There's things. functional lungs. Yeah. I thought it was I just like a magic either. statue that moved. <laughs> uh, Nerve goes, yeah, I, I don't actually know really how this whole thing works. I yeah. think the you only... don't know anything. Okay. Yeah. Is this thing to alive? Fair, like, humanity actually is alive? Not really. Yeah, humanity doesn't really know if the universe is alive or not, so I think it's fair. <laughs> yeah, I'm a monk. We, we could be living in a giant yeah. elephant right now, for all we know. Okay. All right. So, uh, how, how are, we, are we, we doing gone, the disguise? The way, are we doing the disguise option? Well, then? you you are now you are now at the what are essentially the elevator shaft that goes straight up to the net. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um. And okay. Do we need? Yeah. Like, the a rest of us players? will need to stay hidden. Though, while you, you and, like, you like go All right, down. well, how are we going to do this, then? If I'm going to go up there and get the blood force to go down to the lungs, they're going to pass you, you on the way there. There must be somewhere along the way where we can dip away. Is there any it. other way to gain access to this place? Is this the only central elevator that you does like it? turns around and says, yeah, it, is, it is only this elevator that goes up. Um, All right. I, okay, maybe I go up, tell the blood force to come down. You guys just hide in a bush or behind a building or something, and then when the blood force leaves, you get we'll on the elevator and come up. Come up. Just, that's probably yeah, just okay. Yeah. yeah, that's probably just right, yeah, we'll, we'll, The rest of us will find somewhere around <clears throat> the base of the elevator where we can um, stay hidden. Julag will probably come with you, Anthony, because yeah. it makes more sense for General Bo to have a blood Absolutely. force member with him. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, cool. that's what I said. All right. Yeah. Uh, oh, but this is actually perfect. All right, I'm going to tell Julag my plan and ask him if this makes sense of something Bone would do. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, all right, I'm just gonna walk over to the force, and I'm gonna say, uh, Pulmo is under attack by the uh, invaders, and this is our chance to take her out once and for all. Blood force with me. Let's go. We we is that, is, uh, yes we but but we we want something that is so high that like dangerous that the blood force will go, but not dangerous enough that Cerebrum will think to evacuate himself and like. All right. Uh, Pulmo is currently is fighting the. Pulmo is fighting the invaders. She killed one of them, but she needs our backup. Let's go. That sounds good. Um, General, right. but 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 I do have to warn you. General Bone and Pomo did not get along. They did not like each other. So, uh, make it sort of believable that like, General. Why would General Bone help Pomo? Like, That's what I said. I was just like, we could make it look like. Okay, this is our time to take her out. Yes, so we that can, is good. Uh, that, that, is good. That, that was my first idea. Yeah, just yeah, be like, perfect. Oh, this perfect. is the time to take her out for good. Let's go. You know? Perfect, perfect. Men with me. Holy shit, Daniel. That's uh, <laughs> impressive. Man, I just look over and you're deep throating a microphone. Okay, the, cool. what, like the, the If you look at Rustage or any GIF website, the first one that pops up is me deep throating yeah, an SF7B. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, okay. So you guys okay. get it to the elevator Let's go. shaft. Let's do it. All right, I'll um, transform disguise self back into uh, bone. Yeah, you get into the elevator shaft, and there is. Oh, I told this random stranger my name. I also tell everyone in the party my name is Wilhelm Brenner Girlwick the Third. Oh, the Third. Yeah. 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 Sorry, uh, what was your surname? Wilhelm Brenner Girlwick the Third. 
Girl lick? <laughs> Girl wick. Oh. Girl wick. Go. Yeah. Like G U R L wick. Yeah. I'm picturing it with a Y. It's got three Ys, actually. It's oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, technically, I'm Ooh, Anthony wow. Schmidt uh, the second. So, no. Uh, there so you I'm go. one better yeah, than you, yeah. is what. Yeah, you are. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, Pitbull, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, Jarvis is uh, Javis was just short for a girl wick. It's a ancestry thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't named after anybody. Like how I'm... Bill is short for William. Right, and Dick is for Richard. Sure. I get you. That yeah, makes yeah. Sense. I get it there. Yeah. I did know a Richard who liked Dick. All right. Yeah. My granddad. All right. Okay, so you guys <laughs> get it. <laughs> get into the elevator. Um All right, let's go. Uh all right. I and, transform. I look all serious and bony. Um, there is like a, there's like a keypad, but Julag like punches in the numbers. Thank you. Um, and the the elevator lifts up through the neck, and then you're in the face. And as you get to the main face area, there's these two giant glass orbs, and you could see out an endless vast of desert. Whoa. Um, and you okay. also see, like the 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 university tower in Noventure, like the just the, mm. the oh, castle, way in the distance, way yeah, in, yeah. The, in the distance. Um, Shit, that's awesome. We're way high up, and and uh, the elevator stops in in essentially the face. Okay, um, and you, there's a whole bunch of blood force members here, and they're all Can working do, doing various uh, things. Performance and, to see if I like walk out with like a commanding kind of like attention, men. You know, that okay, kind of shit. go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. 14 okay. is decent enough. Thank God, God it's not a. Thank God it's, it's not, not a crit tasty, but you, 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 I, um, all right. And there, there is a big staircase leading up to in the in the air, which looks like where the brain is. Okay, uh, it's very cool. regal. Um, all right, but yeah, there's a decent. There's at least 15 different blood force members here. 15 members. Okay, yeah. I'll step out, uh, and I'll like on the way up. I'll be like Julag. Just look behind me, like I'm really intimidating. And oh stuff. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I walk out. Julag okay. gets into his uh, positions. Attention, my blood force! Pulmo is currently in combat with the invaders of the Golem. One of them has already fallen, but this is our opportunity to take out Pulmo and reign over this place. Let's go, men! Blood force with me! Whoa, um, this go. is so yeah. not like him. So <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh my Blood God, Julag, I me. told him this exact same yeah. plan, um, and Julag's, he said yes, that's Ju cool. Yeah, Julag, Julag was like, I didn't know you were going to talk like this. I, <laughs> I would have I would have went over all of this with him on the way up there. That well, was the well, whole well, point of this. Anthony, <laughs> Anthony also spoke directly to General Bone for a little while, so he yes. would be pretty familiar with yeah. his voice. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would have went so, like, over that exact speech with you lag to make sure yeah. it was okay. Right. Just, All just right. take that speech that you just heard, Rustage, and apply like yeah, the general the, the, the knowledge yeah, yeah. over it, and, and yeah. then just like, like okay. that, he would be a lot more low key. He'd be more, mm -hmm. you know. Sure. Uh, then we'll just. Oh, that, that that goes, back yeah, yeah I go. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You are, and I you did the fourteenth performance. So <laughs> here you go. Pitbull yeah. is not there. Um, we it's are just you lag. Everyone else is hiding. Jim, you lag gives a salute. Um, and people turn around and, uh, they don't actually have any reason to, to, they, to be suspicious of you. You're up here. You've got, they've not heard about his defeat. Julag yeah. is there with you. So yeah. they all turn around and one of them goes, uh, all of us, sir. Who's it? Yes. All of you, except for this one right here. Julag is my new lieutenant. What guy goes? You like the lieutenant now? <laughs> what? What did you do to get lieutenant? I oh. slap that blood force member right in the right in the face. No. Okay. <laughs> Just <a> no. <laughs> you do not speak to me unless spoken to, soldier. <laughs> okay. 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 Um. Right. That guy feels metal across I his face. Dare you question my decisions to promote him? <laughs> Can you do a strength or just like an attack roll or something? Yeah. Because, because, okay. my, <laughs> uh, just uh, athletics. Yeah, yeah, anything like that. Uh, eight. <laughs> he goes. <clears throat> Wait, flash of genius. What? Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna add. Uh, yeah, I can add four to that, so it's a twelve. Make it a little bit better. <laughs> okay. So you don't you don't slap him back like you were probably hoping, but you do slap no. him. 
It yeah, goes, it does. Yeah. I, I, okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, General Bone. Maybe it rattles he, him he a sort bit. Of, you know. he, he, he puts his hand to his nose like he's expecting to have a nosebleed, and when he doesn't, he looks a little bit confused at his hand. And he just looks to around. To the battle, sir! To oh, the battle okay, yes, once. sir! And they all start funneling into the into the elevator. Um, and then, beep, boop, 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 elevator comes down. Right. The rest of you, you see the elevator land um, at the chest, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and you see 15 Blood Force members <laughs> um, charging out of it, and they're heading on to the, into the long direction. Okay. Uh, as soon as they're like... <laughs> Out of eye shot, I will run into the the elevator. Okay, what was the people going to say? I was going to say, um, I'm just going to like look to to my, my two friends and I go, no violence, right? Not, not right now. Which no violence? Who are your two not, friends? Which, which, uh, who who uh, are the yeah. two friends specifically? Me and Norman. You two, the two that are with me. There's yeah. just there's just several of us gathered yeah. here. So I was, yeah. I, I was making sure this isn't some other random slow. friend that you found. <laughs> <in> <laughs> none of them, I want to make it clear. None of them are my friends, but you two. If I say friends, oh. it is it is the party. <laughs> <laughs> no uh, violence. I mean, no, no violence. Maybe no killing. Not not yeah, yet. A little violence until we until we so get up there. When we're up there, violence, it's yes. it's yeah, a little bit of violence. Well, no no killing. Regardless, we're all not no killing okay. anymore. Question: I hope was, Nerve okay. knows how to pilot the elevator. Hope somebody does because uh, can I, is there a panel up where I'm at with Julag that I could bring it back up? Oh uh, no, but but once you get into the elevator, there is the next to the panel. There is a button with a little like intercom. Um, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and Anthony, you hear like a yes, ringing. Yes, this is General Bone. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bone slows like, I he thought we you. killed that guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. It's Anthony. It's Anthony. I, I told oh. you, my, my, my bone voice is a lot better, Julag. See, it's doing okay. There you yeah, go. Is, let, is, let us up. Let us up. Yeah, it's clear up here, guys. Well, now, Julag will tell you what to do with the console. Go ahead. No, we could just we could just bring him up, and he puts... All right, all right cool. Whatever. Just do the thing I'm going to do. Okay, like, get you up here. <laughs> all right. The elevator all right. comes up, and you guys are now in the giant face. Uh, uh okay. okay. I was going to say we suggest we break the elevator, but we needed to get back down, so that's probably not yeah, a good idea. True. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Are we okay, charging okay. now? I think we're charging. So, so where are we currently? There okay. are st- you're in the face, and there are stairs leading up to a doorway that looks like it'd enter into the to the brain. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, boys. Looks uh, like it's Bone gamer Slaw, time. are you ready for this? I was born already. When I, All when right. My Ruth mother Ray. died from childbirth. I can't. Oh, damn. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Remember your mother, soldier. So I could be here, Bone Slaw. Okay, I use my enlarge ray on him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now he is big. Big slaw. He's big okay. slaw. And he burst through the door. Um, and you guys are standing there behind him. And All right, you, I guess we, we go. <laughs> you, yeah, yeah. Uh, what you witness when you're in that room is a four seats, a giant what looks like a brain in the center in like a big dome. Um, um, Statues dotted around the room. And in two of the seats, you see a man with a big mustache and a huge brain, like mega, like bulging brain. Mega Uh, mind. Like mega mega mind, mind but bigger than mega mind, right? Um, And then you also see Chairman Loeb, which you recognize in his suit. yeah, no, but he's his is like vertical. This is like blub. Oh, okay. Like Gosh. big and p- pulsating and Ew. squirming. Yeah. Uh, uh. And you see Chairman Loeb. He's there in his suit with like his little mustache. And, his, his, and and they they were like mid conversation. Uh, Srebum turns around and goes, what? "What is the meaning of this?" I mean, uh, Bone Slaw just ripped in like the Hulk and is probably yelling yeah, yeah. his, his yeah. mind off. Bone Slaw, I will. Uh, and Chairman Loeb who's, grabs who's he his. going after first? He, yeah, Chairman <laughs> Loeb grabs his brain and starts thinking really hard, and <laughs> the giant ant statues start moving around oh. you, and two okay. of them come up towards Bone Slaw, and he goes, "Cease this! I am the Chairman Loeb, and you will not get closer to me." 
Um, oh, God, dude. A boat's <laughs> like, I am boat slow and I will kill you! <laughs> They're just screaming at each other. Okay. Alright, I guess uh, uh, then you're here where we were. Two rolled. statues, <laughs> he's got four arms. <laughs> <laughs> then we gotta wow. roll initiative. Sorry, this image that you have for Chairman Cerebrum is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Who is that? I don't know. I just looked up Big Brain Man. That looks like Freud, except giant head. Yeah, it's like Sigmund Freud with a big handlebar mustache and a gigantic. Oh, there's cranium. a lot more animated statues. I mean, he will probably yeah. be the thumbnail, I imagine, so. Yeah. Good luck, statues have a real to Bone Slaw Pitbull. He's got four arms for four statues. He's got this. Yeah, there um, are four. When, uh, when you say the brain, there's the brain in the middle of the room. Yes. Is it like a statue of a brain? Does it seem you can't, it, to you, be. It, when you look at it, it is inside like an enclosed glass thing. Um, but it does seem to be kind of moving weird, squirming. Oh, it seems organic. Yes. Norman, you begin as Boneslaw charges into the room. All right, boys. Let's, uh, let's fry this competition. Um, I walk for a few steps. I'm running low on spell slots, but you know what? Let's, let's separate these two boys right now. And I use Wall of Fire straight down the room. Can oh. I use it through the brain? Well, it would be on top of the brain at the moment because the brain is covered by a glass dome. Yes. So then it's yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to hurt the brain if that's what you're worried yes. about. No. No. I, yeah. I just, I just wanted to know if it could like, because it's yes. 60 feet long, so I yeah, wanted yeah. to separate. You have three div Yes. You could divide the entire room in half, and uh, and cut off cerebrum and lobe. Nice. Uh, and and, it, it, and it, does it obscure vision as well? When you bring up this giant flaming wall, does it obscure vision? Yeah, they can't see each other through right, it. It's so, okay. Huh, okay, nice. so Norman, you put up this giant flaming wall in the center of this room. And as you do so, uh, Tremon Loeb and uh, Councilman Cerebrum look at each other and they can't see each other through this giant flame. And the animated statue that's next to Chairman Loeb on the opposite side of the flame wall from uh, Chairman Cere uh, Cerebrum stops like his hands go down and he stops moving oh ah. okay good to know lines are Guys. required yeah I think, we, I think now that i separated them we hard focus the big brain mega mind looking ass mm. okay let's do it sounds yeah. good to me it's hachiko is up hachiko bite him okay well uh, <laughs> Hachi hachiko can't get all the way there in one turn but can get pretty close so hachiko's gonna mm -hmm. Uh, actually, you know what? Hachiko will dash, and that will be his action to get right up next to uh, the Cerebium. Okay. I'm kind of surprised dogs don't have greater movement than people. <coughs> um, they're smaller. Well, they probably do, but Hachiko's an old guy. Yeah, he's been waiting too long. You know, he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't get that much exercise. Yeah. Uh, okay, he dashes towards Chairman Cerebrum. Wait. Yes. One thing quick. One side of the wall selected by you when you cast a spell deals 5d8 fire damage to each creature that is within 10 feet of it. Um, well, where you've put it, there is no creatures within 10 feet of it. Well, I would have... Uh, you put the line, technically. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you said in the center of the brain. Do you want it to be slightly to the right and the left I would of the put brain? It, I, would, I would, of course, try to make at least one side do damage to okay. someone. So I would put it right. to the left, yeah. You put it closer to Chairman Cerebrum. So how much damage is that? He's got to do a what uh, saving throw? 5d8 five, five and... 5d8? Oh my god. Five, wall of fire is good. I don't see the saving throw. Dexterity saving throw. Alright, well, he's probably going to fail. He's Chairman Cerebrum. He has a giant, has a giant ass so brain do he's the, around. Do the, do the damage. So the giant flame wall comes up and fire bursts into his and scorches his big bulging brain. 27. Oh, fuck. Wow. Um, Can I draw the line? Like, how do you do that? How do you do that? <laughs> uh, you just you, use you the paintbrush tool. Line. <laughs> Paint. Yeah, you can you can draw the paintbrush tool if you want. Okay. It's uh, yeah, okay. under the arrow. That was you really bad. <laughs> I mean, what, I think what a... is that? Is just that's not even a, that's not a straight line. You just did an S. <laughs> that is not an S. I, I don't know what I that was. My sensitivity. I'm not a gamer, clearly. Do you want it to be like? I just wanted to like, give it a little bit on an angle like this. Kind of yeah, I, I will say, you, the wall diagonally? is five feet wide, isn't it? Slightly. Slightly. If you do it diagonally slightly, that will hit bone slaw. Oh my bad. Okay, it's fine. Just the way. Like, I, I can't draw it exactly how I want, but I tried to take a step to the right of bone slaw and then do this, but... Yeah. I think it, would, it technically would have hit bone slaw either way, maybe. 
No, I, I imagined you were stepping in front of Bone Slaw and putting it in, you know, so that you wouldn't hit any of your yes. teammates with the wall of yeah. fire. I tried to walk in front of them, but Bone Slaw is quite big. I fell so into call. a burning wall of fire. My bad, I'm does, delaying is, this. Does here. Wall of Regardless, fire... I walk. Go Does it have anything about ending your turn within range of the wall of fire? Selected by when you cast a spell, divide your damage to each creature that ends its turn within 10 feet of, in, of that side or inside the wall. A creature takes the same. So Hachiko can't run up to Chairman to sweep him or also will take damage. At the end of his turn. Which you mean Hachiko will end his turn next to Chairman Cerebrum? Yes, yes. So Hachiko no, will hold not. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, knowing, knowing where the wall is now and that is. Burning fire damage on one side of it. I'm sure Hachiko would not. Yes, run that's what I'm saying. That Hachiko is not yeah. running in that direction, and instead will probably run towards Councilman Loeb. Fire um, bad. The thing is, I don't think Bone Slow would heed that advice. <laughs> Hachiko is no. smart, no. and Hachiko would be like, "I'm gonna run after and not burn." But Bone Slow wants to kill Big Brain Man. No, Bone Slow would want to fight the statues. Yeah, the yeah. Statues. yeah, because the so statues are big. Slaw... Attack the little tiny guy with the big Yeah, brain. of course he's not going to attach the tiny brain. A, a, a brain can't arm wrestle. So Boneslaw turns to his right, <laughs> um, and he's going to fucking punch this statue that he hits once yeah, yeah, for seven damage. Nice. No, it's more because he's bigger. Oh, how much more? An extra d4, right? I think it's an extra d4, yeah. Uh, 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 10 damage nice. and he, he he like hits his hand against the statue goes oh it's like this thing is made out of stone crazy <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the uh i sorry i was just watching the statue's health as you took that 10 damage off it that thing barely moves <laughs> these things have so much health dude like, See, did one did, did, more punching it even, like, chip it or anything? No, no, no. It's like, pff, dust came out. <laughs> um, Little Feather tells, tells the Cody, I could, I could fire my arrows through the flames into at Chairman Cerebrum. Oh, yeah, babe. If you can get that shit off, go ahead. We need to get rid of this brain guy. But I... Oh, here's the... Here, listen. Here's, if I don't fire them through the flames... Listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. I guess it's, this, is a, this is a choice. Fire them through the flames, it'd be harder to hit because I can't quite see him, but they will do more damage because the arrow will catch on fire. I don't fire mm. through the flames, more likely to hit, but do less damage. What do you think? I think through the fire and the flames, we carry on. We carry on. on. <laughs> uh, so she <laughs> positions herself. Uh, she steps forwards, so she's on the other side of the flame wall, aims mm. her arrow at where she thinks Cerebrum is. She will have disadvantage, but... She will do an extra. F he can't have a very high AC. This no. should be fine. Yeah, but she doesn't have a high to hit. Oh, oh she double crits! Oh, she, she double crits! Crit. She double crits with disadvantage! She double oh, crit with disadvantage! Go. That's gonna double the 2d6 extra fire damage she was gonna do. <laughs> so, so she does that plus 4d6. It's so nine plus four, 13. She kills Chairman Cerebrum! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Little Feather! No shot. <laughs> Yo. Alright. Double uh, crit. So the statues <laughs> just stop working then, I guess? Yeah. That's hilarious, dude. I don't, I don't think I'll ever learn my lesson about having, like, a really weak guy that, no. like, animates strong things because he, he dies <laughs> yeah. immediately and the you strong gotta things... Give him, like, you gotta you... give him, like, a globe of invulnerability or something oh, so... because otherwise... But, you know... You know <laughs> he thought it would work. <laughs> so Little Feather pulls back the arrow. I mean, she got a double crit with disadvantage. The arrow flies off, penetrates Norman's wall of fire for the extra combo damage, Bursts of flames and hits him in his giant bulging cerebrum, and yep. it pops like oh. a giant zit and Ew. splatters brains oh. everywhere. Is or is just brain? Oh, that's disgusting. Uh, and he yeah, collapses. We all need to do Good thing we can't save, see that. We vomit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and the the statues cease to be animated. Uh, Anthony, it is your turn. Chairman Loeb is still up. All right, well, that's good yeah, because I, was, well, I, I wanted to use Shatter Cannon, but I don't have any second level slots, so the battery's dead, so I can't mm. use that shit. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to double down with this Bone Slaw thing. Bone Slaw, I'm going to make you jump good. I cast Jump on Bone Slaw. 
so his jump distance is tripled. <laughs> <laughs> All right, statues are taken care of, but I hear that lobe guy is a really good arm wrestler. Go deal with him, buddy. All right, so when, when it's Boastless' turn, he's, he's going to go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, what do you oh, want to do? There's no way. There's no way it makes it to Boss Law's turn with uh, with this guy alive. Um, mm. I'm gonna run thirty feet over here. Okay. This. Like you run behind um, what would have been Pomo's chair. Oh, I see. Yeah, and I'm I'm looking at Councilman Loeb. Look, hey, earlobe guy. We don't need to do this. You don't need to die. We don't even need to hurt you. Just give up. Give us the key. It's it's not like earlobe. It's like the lobal cortex in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing he's focused on. All right. All right I, you all know, right. I would have given up, but because of that, you have insulted my family. Yeah. You need he's stuff he's to pointing a gun. He, he's like, his hands are shaking. He's pointing a gun. I will make my final stand here for my city. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to... Let me... I have to actually look at my spells now, which is crazy. That's new for me. Um... Ruff. That's right, Hachiko. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> like, Wait, Hachiko's... Is that the first... Is what? that the first life Little Feather's taken? Like, <laughs> no. A normal no, she's no, definitely she... had kills before, she's yeah. She's murdered other people, okay. definitely. She's not a lot of kills, but she's, like, killed little guys before, I think. Yeah, it's, it's her first boss kill. I guess. Mm, yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For whoever's keeping um, track of those. I know somebody keeps track of all of the character stats the throughout all. Yeah, track yeah. Of this, yeah. I know he said the comments of every episode. He keeps oh, track yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. all of the stats. That, uh, you know, total I, damage I like dealt. That guy. Yeah, he's so great. Cool. Um, but yeah, um, that's a little feather boss KO for, for that guy. I don't, I don't actually have a lot of like attacking spells. Heal him. I'm s <laughs> no. <laughs> Cast calm I'm going emotions. To use, I'm going to use Thorn Whip. No, oh. revivify, revivify Cerebrum, and let's kill him again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I need uh, to make an attack. Yeah, yeah, it's your regular spell attack. Uh, I don't know why that I mean, that hits, that hits, that time. hits. All right, so he's just going to take a d6 and then get pulled 10 feet closer to me. Okay. Which put him right next to me. All right, did that d6 damage. I just I just wanted him to be next to me. All right. I didn't want to dash. You, you pull him towards you, and he takes that three damage, and he's looking at you. <laughs> you you bastard. <laughs> uh, okay, the shark. I mean, uh, sorry, Pitbull, I... Pitbull, Pitbull. You're good. Uh, can I get to him this turn? Uh, can you get to him this turn is a good question. Yes, because Cody pulled him closer, you can get to him this turn. Sick. Uh, then I'm gonna get to him and I'm gonna do a disarm attack. Mm. Oh, to disarm his weapon? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. You have to hit with the attack. So, mm -hmm. uh, would that would be improvised weapon? Correct. Yeah, I mean, you yeah, whatever you want to. Well, whatever you want to use as your improvised weapon. It's just pick up Pulmo's chair yeah. on the way. <laughs> yeah, anything. It has to be something though. Like, I, it, I can't just be your hands yet. You haven't unlocked the ability. You haven't unlocked uh -huh. your kung fu yet. Then I'll just smash him with my bat on the gun. Okay, then do that. <laughs> you do you you don't have your bat anymore. You no, gave wait, it to you the give your bat away. You gave your bat away. Oh. You don't have your guns away, you gave your bat away. You could let's say you're using the crossbow that Julag got as a, gave you. As a hitter. As yeah, a hitter. Yeah, yeah, and it's the bat. same it would be the same to hit as the baseball bat, probably. Um wait, okay. do your damage. Uh, well, so that I shouldn't do improvised weapon, not, uh... Okay, oh, sure. No, it would be... Yeah, sure, yeah. do do right. improvised weapon. Fuck it. Okay. Well, it I still hits. <laughs> no, it still hits. He's oh. Councilman Loeb. He's just wearing clothes. He's just a guy. Uh, he's this just guy a guy. Sucks. He does six damage. Okay. It's not on fire. It says 60 damage. Did uh, I disarm him? Um, yeah, he's got to do a strength saving throw. Um... Okay. Guys, we probably could have just set like one of us to go deal with these two, honestly. I think we would have been all right. Yeah. <laughs> Norman yeah, by himself could have probably fun. handled this. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he drops the pistol that he's holding. Um, okay, then I'm going to use my maneuver spinature to do a second attack. You could just do a second um, attack. Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. Then I'm going to do a trip attack then. Um, oh, go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. You do uh, another. Which I assume is improvised weapon yeah, as well. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, that hits. Do the damage as well. Uh, so he's taken the six. He's taken the seven. Um, oh shit! I did. He's that. not dead, right? No, no, he's not dead yet. No, 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 no. 
What's uh, he at? Like, how bad does he look to me? Oh, he looks like he looks bloodied. He does look bloodied. Okay. Um, he's okay. got to do what is it? Is, is, and is, him it up. is it another strength saving throw, or is it a deck saving throw for trip attack? Uh, for trip attack, uh, let me see. Uh, extend security die, knock the target down. Security die, attack damage. Strength saving throw. If the target is. Yeah. Okay. Cool. He's probably gonna fail. He does. So you knock the gun out of his head. You trip him up with with the same crossbow, <laughs> downwards and slide it on his feet. He is now on the ground, uh, prone. Right. And then uh, I'll then I'll just try to threaten him and say stop. You, okay. I you yeah 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 yeah. Is that intimidation? I guess. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Go wait, ahead. Wait. The shark says. Stop. Sir Pitbull. No, no, no. I'm trying. I gotta be on brand. So he goes, Grr, stop. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, Dale. Dale. You critically oh. failed. You critically failed. Uh. He looks up. He spits blood. <laughs> I will never give up. This is my entire life. My people. Okay. You terrorists. You take us down. It's Nerve's turn. Okay. He steps around. You call us terrorists. We are nothing but freedom fighters. And he pulls out his crossbow. And he fires it. Oh, he... He's going to have disadvantage. He's going to have disadvantage. Just oh, it well does hit. I, I would try and stop him. It but... doesn't. No, no. He leaves him on one HP. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he had 10 uh, HP remaining. He is now on one. It's, it's Lobe's turn. And it's now Lobe has a turn. He, he, he reaches into his pocket and he pulls out... He cool. He pulls out his other pistol. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you can never have too many pistols. He fires it. I hope this works. Mm. Handgun, in brackets, he doesn't minus know how to five. use it. <laughs> it shoots <laughs> for minus five. Did he shoot himself on accident? Like, he, he, he just accidentally <laughs> shoots himself and dies? He had a minus 10 to the attack roll. Um, so. <laughs> This is a really common way for people to die, is like, try to grab a gun by the holster and put their finger on the trigger and pull. Can yeah. you just do that? <laughs> he probably, yeah, he, he, he probably, yeah. Because there's an just, artery right there and people hit it a lot. Yeah. It just blows, he's at one HP. I have to say that he like, as he pulls the gun off and to. tries to pull the trigger, it like misfires and he shoots himself in the gut and he collapses to the ground. Um, the shark goes, or Pitbull goes, not my fault. <laughs> yeah, didn't no. He, didn't hey, listen. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put my hand on Pitbull's shoulder and be like, "He did this to himself." I in agree. Like, in every sense. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. I just want to say we walk into a room. You had two badasses sitting on thrones of a chair, a brain in the middle, covered in glass, four statues in every corner of the room, and we just wipe that so easily uh, in one turn, in less well, than a turn. Uh, is oh. the do we, do we need to destroy the brain? No, I don't the think. keys. I don't think okay. so. Okay. All right. Then I guess yeah. we won then. I thought yeah, that was just like a decorative thing. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to search Lob's body straight away to find yeah. his key. Yeah. He has he has one of the valves. Um Okay. Pitbull goes up to the We get rid the of the brain. giant wall of fire. Does anything yeah. happen? Um, I don't think I can get rid of it. No, you can't. Yeah, you can't. Can. 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 There forever. Oh, there forever. <laughs> concentration up to one minute. So I just you can just like, end concentration. Yeah, okay. yeah, you just end concentration. All right. But really coolly, like, I, I, I walk up listen, to the fire, listen. and then, like, as I'm about to get, to, like, walk through it, it disappears. Look, yeah. Corpus will not have a virus now, because it has a really good firewall. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Oh, come, <laughs> come on, dude. It's a firewall on the motherboard. We're good. And the GPU, we're fine. Nothing happens when I poke it. Wait, you poke the brain? Yeah. Wait, when it's behind you, glass. It's, it's, it's behind glass, glass but as you touch the glass, um, you you hear something. Are you just poking it? Or you touch yeah, it? Yeah, just poke the glass. You poke just it. Poke when you poke it, it's like you hear static for a second. Ooh, I push my hand against it. You put your hand against the glass, and you it's static, but you, you sort of hear a... Me, 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 me. Oh, guys, I think we need to free this brain. What? It's what? a bunch of little tiny creatures screaming for help, going, me, me, me! <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, come put your hand on Can we all, we all, we all put our hands yeah, on the put glass. my hand on the brain. We just yeah. hear this sleeping. Just hear... That's sleeping. 
And also, he has I really see. bad, uh, he has, like, something with his nasal, I don't know, but he's getting really... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, How do you uh, snore without a throat? Oh, you're right, I was yeah. hearing it wrong, that's, that's snoring. How, wait, okay. so this thing, is, this golem is alive, if we take these keys, and I'm holding one of the valves, and, and, and open its heart, it's gonna die. Yeah, says Nerve. We, we established that. We, I didn't really know thing. Was alive. I thought it was just like a building. <laughs> he walks, he moves, but is he really alive? Like, he's it's... snoring. What? <sighs> we set a fire in his lungs earlier, and it gave him a cough. He, he's, he's like a magical being. Magical being. Can like, we? These statues, when they were animated by his big brain magic, were they really alive? No, that's different. It's different. This thing has a brain. It. It can think for itself. Uh, it's alive. I don't want to kill it. How do you I mean, define what something is alive? Uh, if it has sentience, if it can think for itself, if it's aware of... Hold on a minute. I touch the brain and I try to, like, think to it. Does it respond? I don't know. Are you trying to wake it up? Because it's a sleep no, right uh, now. What do you guys... Do not do you guys try to wake it up. The whole yeah. thing is we do not want to wake it up because then we're going to get bounced around the yeah, brain. Yeah, I know. So, um, is it... I think since it doesn't have flesh, this is a vegan kill. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's what does Cody say to that? If it's not made of actual flesh, then it's not a living thing. Okay. Well. I'll free you! And I slam my crossbow into the glass case. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, improvised weapon attack? Because it is quite reinforced, Sweet. so we'll see how much damage you can do to this. Because I think it will take more than one swing. Uh, you do hit, so do the damage. Oh, you smash a nice cracker to it, oh God, but it dude. is not shattered yet. I'm going, Pitbull, I'm going, to, Pitbull, I'm going to grab Pitbull and be like, calm Yo. down now. If yeah. we well, smash this thing open, it, he could just die. The like, what if your brain was exposed? Is antithetical to the will of the free. What? I don't uh, know. <laughs> Little no, it, right well, now that these two leaders are dead and all the leaders are like, can we just like open the door and leave? Like, do we have to blow up the heart? Well, that was well, the that's point where the we thing the is that we're yeah, gonna open the valves. Oh, no, man, yeah. the whole reason that we're here was to retrieve the heart. We wouldn't even be in the city if it wasn't to get the heart. Yeah, I don't really like, 100% remember the plot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that we needed, we, we Maybe, needed the keys uh, to get to the heart. But now everyone's dead. Can't we just leave? Well, we could ask, we could ask Cerebrum, but uh, I just look at his corpse on the ground. <laughs> just. Uh, I, I don't. Yeah, I think he's going to be answering any questions. I time. could. I, I could read a back. book in my That's time. Right, you could bring him about, back. That talked about how parts of the brain affect the body. What if we break the glass case and start touching parts of the brain to pilot it like a ship? Uh, you're talking about really complicated going. like nerve responses. Also, like, what is the motivation well, here? Why do we want to pilot this thing? I don't, I don't know about the science it. of your time, but the science of my time says the size and shape of your skull dictates your intelligence. So yeah, that's I, not a thing. No, it, I think it is. It's, it's definitely it not book. a thing because Bone Slaw has the biggest head out of all of us. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's <laughs> Bone Slaw! Um, also, that's um, not wait, true. I can't read. The Pipple might be onto something. If we Piloting a the... huge golem mech is kind of cool. What? Yeah, and this also, is not a mech, it's a creature, I'm, I'm it's alive. Worried, I'm worried also if we kill it, then it's a giant golem that's just... And then that's going to yeah. kill everybody inside of it. Before we so, mess with anything, the brain or yeah. heart or whatever, we need to evacuate everyone. And yeah, we yeah, need to do get... it while this thing's asleep, so let's do that now. Let's go. I yeah, agree. let's just get everybody out. Yeah, all right. Oh, let's go to the vocal cord part and talk. I mean, that might not be a bad idea. Is there like a intercom system you could speak through the entire? Uh huh. Uh, that yeah, that would be that would be that would be okay. You, you look around, but well, I mean that's what Julak yeah. says. So you guys are gonna head back down to the face. Yeah, yeah we, we want to make some way to evacuate everybody. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as you head back down the stairs to the face, the elevator comes up. <laughs> And standing at the top of the elevator is a very bloodied and beaten Pomo, who has now been freed, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. We, didn't, we didn't kill her, we just left her there and told you, you everyone. You left her and told everyone to go and free yeah. her. So uh -huh. now she's there, and she's huffing and puffing, and she's got a squadron of blood force around her. And she points a finger at you guys and goes, Hey, told you that you would regret this. Where is Cerebrum? He's dead. The bird killed him. Yes, I did. I d it was me that killed him. Not Unload an accurate statement. He's dead. <sighs> I am your god now. No. <laughs> no. 
that that means he, she turns to the blood force that I have total control over everything that goes on inside this city. Oh, I am the this chairman. Fun. Okay. We already beat you. Let's Ten? not do it again. All right. Before she before she goes on a big spiel. <laughs> before she monologues. Right, what are we doing here? Can can we just try and talk to the blood force and be like, Go ahead. hey. Yeah, she's got that okay. 15 men around her. Okay. So. Then I'm just going to say it. I'm going to address the blood force. I'm like, your leaders are dead. Everyone in this city needs to evacuate because this entire thing is going to collapse in just a few hours. They are lying to you. Do we want to do... Let's do a persuasion like a per contest. Persuasion. Yes. Uh, Christ. Yes. Sure. I just I mean, point, my, sorry. I point my crossbow with the already shattering glass case and I go, leave her, I shoot it. They're not in the room with us. Yeah, we're, you guys have gone back down to the face. But you, I mean, you can go back up there the if you want to. I thought you said the, the brain elevator room. came up to where to, we are. Not the elevator the came room. up to the face room. Sorry, I know. It's, oh, so you guys God. are in the brain room. Sorry. Stairs down, elevator and face room. Yeah, so we're in front of the elevator now. We're in the mouth. We just, <laughs> like need, we just need, I genuinely think, to appeal to, to these the guys' sense of self-preservation. I mean, that's true, Cody, but these guys were also super dedicated to Bone to worthy to throw away their own lives. Remember that? Mm. Bone is yeah, dead. that is true. They okay, don't know we this. Could, we could just tell them now. I mean, at this yeah. point, who give a fucking cares? Yeah. Um, okay. All right. Well, persuasion so contest. Though, that persuasion like contest. That. So, but uh, Palmer says, <laughs> "You guys get on your little podiums and have your speech." <laughs> Palmer, <laughs> Palmer says, "These people are lying to you. The place is only going to explode because of what they are going to do. They, yeah, they are sabotaging. But if you kill them right now, you will be safe." And you don't need to face the wilds of the desert. You could be safe here where you will be loved and nurtured by God. All right, you go ahead, Cody. There, why is it me? There is a settlement like a few miles over that way. These are not the wild deserts. You can just go to a city. We came from one. We are here to free everyone that's inside of this golem and take its heart for... Not important what it's for. <laughs> oh, See, I remember now. We're <laughs> <laughs> to See, free everyone in this city. They want to take the heart of Corpus. They want to take the heart, the beating heart of all the men and women in this city. No, we will rise up against these terrorists. We will fight for God and for justice and for the deaths of Cerebrum for Jamon Loeb. Can I say one thing after that, boys? I'm going to go up to the podium as well and be like, so, the chairman with the big brain couldn't handle us. Counselor Loeb couldn't handle us. Bone couldn't handle us. You think you 15 blood force could handle us? See how yeah. they threaten you! Yeah, I These am threatening you guys. These men are terrorists! They are evil! With your, you either leave with your lives now, for free. We're sending you guys free, because we want to go free and leave as well. Or, you fight us and die. It's option A or option B. You right. live are we or you die. Are we changing the persuasion to an intimidation contest? It will be her uh, persuasion against your intimidation. Sure, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going to piggyback off what, off what Norman's saying. Is like, yeah, I was trying to do this a nice way, but I'm saying if you guys don't turn around and leave now, everyone here dies. All right, I think I think everything comes down to this one role. Okay, can I can I use enhance ability? I want to cast oh, enhance yes. ability on myself to um, give myself advantage on charisma checks. All right, and you're doing intimidation. So... Yeah, and just eagle splendor is what I'm using. Which was that eagle, the splendor of the eagle. Yeah. She's all right. So you don't see it, but there's like the spirit of a giant eagle yeah. behind it. Like, when I think of charisma, I think of an eagle. I mean, it's yeah. like, <laughs> bless you. Bless you. That was in character. Damn. Oh, oh, that's actually like dude. almost oh, a crit I, for her. That's I can't almost. beat it. I, I can't actually beat it unless I, if I was to crit this, Rustage, you have advantage, would you allow though, me? with eagle splendor. I, this is what will be. Okay. Because I only would have... You? I have zero in, in intimidation. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes. I, don't, I, I can't uh, yeah, yeah, beat yeah. that number, okay. but if I was to critically crit it, succeed... Yeah. Because to be fair, her, her role was one off a crit. So we'll, we'll say you. this. If you crit this, it will succeed. If you don't... I guess, yeah, it's, you have I guess it's time and, to fight a bunch of Blood Force members. Right. And you got advantage, and that's okay. Let's try yeah. it. What?! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby! <laughs> Ooh, yeah, baby! How did you get a crit of the one? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! The eagle behind me was Little Feather, bitch! <laughs> I 
happened? Dude, you didn't even need advantage for that. It was the first number. God, I love it. I love it. At the end of Norman's little speech, like speaking over Cody's shoulder, he like slicks his hair back. He's like, you could call me the shark now. <laughs> <laughs> they they turn I guess, around. I guess, yeah, the word that they end on is just like, you can either turn around and evacuate, or everyone here dies. I'm intimidated when, by that. They, Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they turn around to face Pomo, and they see that Pomo's bleeding and broken. She she looks weak. Kind like of crazy. She's already too. lost. Sort of, they can, sort of crazy. They could smell the dead bodies. Um, they saw the carnage that happened in the church, and mm -hmm. they they're not paid enough for this. And the one of them that was slapped earlier by General Bone goes, "You you know what? Actually, yeah, fuck this, fuck this. If 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 your choice between guaranteed freedom or potential death, I would choose guaranteed freedom. Let's go, boys." And right. they. And Pomo turns around and says, No, you cannot! You cannot betray they, like, me like this! Did they shove her out of the elevator and just fuck <laughs> off? <laughs> yeah. Well, they're just taking the elevator down. Um, Is Pomo going with them? No, po she, Pomo, getting... Pomo's on her podium. Oh, right. <laughs> and now yeah. she's okay. left alone in a room with all of you. All right. I'm just going to walk past her and just, like, we're, we're doing our doing? thing. What are you doing? Don't. She looks around desperately. No! Ma'am. Please. My life, yeah, everything I've worked her. for. Ma'am, I'm a firefighter. Listen, <laughs> I, I don't know where I was going with this, but the point is, like, <laughs> I'm a firefighter. To, Listen, are you single? Life. I mean, yeah. I, uh, I already have a fiance. I'm good. Uh, I had right. done yeah, yeah. everything that I've ever worked for. I was pretty happy this. And everyone betrays me in the end. Okay. Everyone always uh, does. How old does Pomo seem? She's like late 30s. Early forties, okay. but she she looks more youthful than her actual age, so she she probably looks like early thirties. As as oh. I walk by, I'm gonna go, hey, hey, don't go chasing waterfalls. Yep, I, I am the one that makes the waterfalls. <laughs> Momo, if you want to die and go down with the ship, then and you could just stay here. But otherwise, if you don't want to die, you should probably come with us. Is it a coward? To die? Was it cowardly to not? That's up to you. That's completely your decision. I, I will not talk with devils. <laughs> All right. Po Pomo looks up, and there's tears. We got in her an eyes. entire city to evacuate. We got stuff to do. And she uh, and she's gonna go up the stairs into the into the brain room. Mm. Okay. All right. That's fine. All right. We'll we'll ride the elevator down then. Is that a smart idea to leave her with the brain that controls everything? Uh, she'll be fine. She'll I, be I, th fine. Th I thought you guys were going to use the uh, mouth. Yeah, we need yeah, to use yeah, the yeah. mouth. Yeah, we need to use oh, the wait, mouth. Oh, that's still talk. in the first yeah, 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 obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind, we don't use the elevator. Okay, okay. There's a little microphone on, like, a control panel. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. All right, who's going to do this? Who has the best persuasion to get these people out of here? Yeah, persuasion performance, something like that. Uh, uh, my performance is negative one, so no. I actually think you guys all have the worst charismas in the world. Yeah, I have zero right. charisma, but I do have advantage on charisma checks for the next hour. Uh, that, I mean, that's good enough. Okay, that might be Cody's idea, I don't want Hachiko will be barking in the background for that bardic inspiration. Mm. Wait, Pipple, what's your charisma? Uh, like, it, my intimidation is what I rely on, because my charisma mm. is literally... Uh... One. All right, That's let's the best of the group. <laughs> it is. No! no, I have a one. I have a one charisma too. But like, let me check on something. Bone slaw. Can you? <laughs> what's your charisma, buddy? What do you mean by charisma? You guys keep looking at these things in front of your faces, but I don't know what you're reading. Oh That's yeah, fair. he's That's not right. a Isek Iseki or whatever. Is there a... Iseki? Is there a way for me to see his charisma or no? <laughs> no. Um. No. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah. Uh... Um. I think it's probably best if I make yeah. the announcement with Bardic Inspiration. I yeah, would do I that. Yeah, yeah, you okay. go no, ahead with I, that. Yeah. Trust me, I know the perfect thing to say. The shark is really excited. Or the pitbull is really oh, excited gosh. right now. I can, I can get run it by us first, or uh... yes. Yeah, okay. okay, he's going to run us by us. All right. I say the system has got you victim to your own mind. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> you likes like. This is good. This is good. I write and it down. so, what you gotta do 
yeah. is um, go out of the world. Mm. And I know that, that you want me. I can see it in your eyes. Mm. Okay. Oh, this is taking a weird turn. But, but I am going to be on the outside. So mm. if you want me, you got to come to the outside where the real freedom, the real truth is. Mm. I feel like... like <laughs> This is like coffee house poetry. I don't know what they're going to Let go for. This. Let them cook. Let them cook. Dolly. Goodbye. Goodbye to all all the fake people in this golem. Facts. I never I never wanted them around me. Yeah. So be on your way now. Hey. You better think twice if you're going to let your people get, die. Mhm. Mm I'll vote Wilhelm. It is good. I don't it's think, good. I don't think it will translate. I think I think Cody would do a better job at this. I think Look, it was, I appreciate it was pretty the effort. inspirational and good, but I don't know if that's going to make people leave. I think it'll just make people <laughs> I mean, confuse them. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm confused. I think it'll make, uh, it make people go I'm to your concerts. I've just been quoting TLC lyrics this entire season. <laughs> I mean, look, look, Pitbull, I'm a fire guy. I'm a fire inspector. When you want people to evacuate a building, you want it to be clear, concise, and to the point. You don't want it to be too too complex. Yeah. I like the lyrics. I do. I'd go to your concert any day. But, uh... So why don't we say something along those lines? Code red, code red. Just... The heart's about to explode. Evacuate yeah. the golem or else everyone dies. Right now, right now, I right now. Okay, but I do want you to throw in there, just at the very end, for me, if you don't mind, at least one of the things that I said. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Cody, the microphone's all you yours. Tack it on at the very I'm end gonna if you want press to. Press the little, the little, the little button. Um, um, do I get Cody, my body consumption? Yes. Uh, Cody, do you have uh, Mark? Do you have like a cup near you at all? Um. Yeah. Hold on. It's got water in it. Okay. Great. Use that, please. Thank you. It lubed up. Okay. You do have body consumption. People of Corpus, I need your attention. This is an emergency announcement. Cerebrum is dead. Vobe is dead. General Bone is dead. Your leaders have fallen, and soon the golem will too. This Papa. is an emergency evacuation. <laughs> Please leave via the legs now. The blood force will assist. I know you want me. Was that what you? <laughs> 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 this is not a drill. Please evacuate now. Ooh, baby, baby. <laughs> Was that good? That's not good. All right, I think that got the advantage. I think I got the point across. Yeah, it, you know, it, it, you are all now free. You are all now free. Are you military training. You are free. <laughs> what the um, fuck was that? Are you wait, Daniel Green just summoned <laughs> balloons? How did yeah, he do that? Blind uh, viewers. Daniel Green just had uh, a swarm of balloons show up on him for some reason. It's like I when it's like when that. he gives a thumbs up and his his camera freezes and <laughs> does the thumbs up emoji. He must have done like a balloon that. hand sign. He did like, like a the, Naruto the start... ninjutsu balloon summon. Balloon do it again. Pitbull's, Pitbull's gonna post the th thing and go. They, they don't know it's over. Over. <laughs> oh, you're right. Thank you. Okay, I'm doing my I'm doing my um persuasion. Okay. And you have with the, advantage. Yes. And you have oh, bardic inspiration. D8. It's a D8. Please be good. Why why the fireworks? I don't know how that's Okay, D8. <laughs> Daniel Green's fucking camera is going crazy. 15. Uh, 15's, perfect. 15. 15's perfect. 15's oh. perfect. Um awesome. Yeah. Maybe like two dudes stay behind. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> no, Maybe fake like... news. They're trying to make us think that the golem is going. I don't believe the government. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is it time to go to the heart? I guess to the source. Okay. All right, uh, you guys, yeah. your four valves in hand. Good job, Cody. Take, take the elevator down to the chest. You're starting to see people leaving their houses and, and they're, they're funneling towards the bottom um, of the city. People running, they're taking elevators down. Some people are just jumping. Cody, you said the Blood Force was going to assist them. I don't remember telling them that they were going to have to do that. Uh, they're not okay. going to stop them, right? Yeah. No, the they won't force... stop them, but they might be trying to... <laughs> It might just be chaos for a while, but yeah. yeah. I mean, the blood force are also out. sort of persuaded by that as well. 
Um, oh, good. Okay, yeah. That was, yeah, that was kind of the goal. I was like, yeah, because because phone is dead. So the blood dead. force will will assist them. Yeah. Or right. else. <laughs> yeah. Or else. Yeah. Or else they will also okay. die. Yeah. Um, and that yeah, people are some people are jumping off, climbing down, clambering down the body, getting oh, to the legs as quickly as possible. There's definitely going to be some fatalities from this. Okay. Let's uh, move to the heart. The heart is in sort of a glass. Yeah, dome, floating right? dome, and it has four so when different we're in the tunnels heart, attached to it. Yeah, we'll be able to we'll be able to look down and see how yes. well the evacuation's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. once it looks like most people are out, we can we can begin the, okay. the extraction. All right. There are there are different um, stairways leading to in different parts of the town that lead to the different ends of each of the tunnels. You guys will find them presumably. It's not a challenge, um, but it does mean that you do have to split up a little bit because you're in different tubes. Yeah. So it's um, the four of us. So, oh yeah, each one of you four has a key each. Um, and I assume, like, it'll be Cody and Littlefeather, uh, Pitbull and Julag, um, Norman and... Hachiko. Hachiko and Anthony and Boneslaw. Boneslaw. And you guys are in your individual tubes, and you've got the giant sealed locked doors in front of you. The valves to the heart, the four valves to the heart. Mm -hmm. okay. And and you can see below you just reams and hordes of people uh, desperately clambering to escape the city. Um, okay. Once yeah, we'll wait for a while. Once we're happy that most people are out, mm -hmm. that there's like mm -hmm. they'll be able to get out by the time anything bad happens. Like yeah. we can all take our. What do what do the what do these things look like? These well, they, keys that so we've got, they they ha they have like a valve at the end, right? Mm -hmm. And then it's a okay. cylindrical, and at the end of the valve, it's uh, like a key shape. So it slots into a right, key, okay. and then you turn it. Kind of like a giant key that you turn. Yeah, yeah. A, val right. a key with a big ass valve on it. All right, then yeah. we'll. <laughs> yes, everyone slots their valves in. Uh, Norman's left. <laughs> Norman, Norman, Norman's still did. waiting. You guys slot your valves in, and Norman's still and just we watching people. <laughs> I was just still looking out the window. Norman! <laughs> While we're waiting, there? Pitbull starts patting his head because of the fire he was in. He's like, oh, I'm already bald. He cool. singed your hair off. You look completely yeah. different. Uh, oh my gosh. That's incredible. We need, we need new shark art where he's, yeah. he's transformed into Pitbull. Yeah, we need the Do you still have art? your, like... Maybe you have more of a beard now over the course of the journey. No, I'll, I don't oh, have eyebrows. Everything's fake. Um, Wait. <laughs> oh, okay. I was I was thinking you would be bald with like maybe more of a beard to show age, but mm -mm. no. Okay. I'm so sorry. Me and Hachiko had to go pee on a tree. Well, oh, there's no trees bad. in the in the. There are no trees in this tunnel, so if you do pee, it slides down the tunnel <laughs> like a slide. <laughs> Yeah, um, I just mean, a trail of piss fun. leading out the heart. Now. All right, you got. Right, we all, all get our, our everyone. Valves in. Everyone inserts their valves. Uh, wait, I, can we do like a three, two, one, and you all do a turning motion right, at the same time? Yeah, yeah. Everyone, all put right. your hands up, <laughs> like you have a valve, okay. and then we do We're right or left, clockwise or counter. Uh, clockwise. Clockwise. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> And Some of those were not the same motion, but yeah. <laughs> as long as you my get the same basic On stream, premise. my clockwise is going to be opposite because I'm flipped on stream. Um, oh, am I flipped? No, no, no. You're was, flipped for I yourself. Was, so I you're going to be opposite clockwise. to everyone else. But I was turning it clockwise. The, the, the doors open. And inside is this relic, like this heart-shaped relic that looks exactly like what you need to put into the the slot mm. at the university. Well, yeah. that was easy. Well, unlike really the brain, actually... this isn't any sort of all organic thing, is it? It's like a. Mm -hmm. It seems like a magic object. Yes. Mm. Oh yeah, that's why we came here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right then. Uh, Cody will step into the. Is there anything else in the room, or is it no. just this? No, but then you feel Cody its magical presence as you step forwards. Guys, before we take this, the collapse of this golem could be, you know instant so i guess be ready to deal with is okay yeah falling rocks Wait, we're about to kill something i guess um it's a magical item i feel like this is not really a living thing i it's like I if i were to it. summon something with magic <clears throat> is it really okay I, I i am going to you know before i touch this just sort of like as much communicate to the golem as much as I can, which is probably not at all, but you know, in my own head, just be like, "Sorry about this. I uh, 
don't really see any other option. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take the the yeah. heart. You relic. grab it with both hands. You take it out. Yeah. And as you do, the four valve tunnels fall off the giant orb. Oh, oh shit! So we're so we're and stuck up here. And the whole thing starts to shake and rumble, and your giant orb comes off like a giant hamster ball and starts <laughs> plummeting and bouncing off all the oh different my God. houses and things in the city. And now the entire place is rumbling and crumbling. Sandstone collapses from the ceiling and there was not enough time into... for everyone to get out. <laughs> wait, so wait. No, we we waited. Still... We waited. Yeah, we waited. Yeah, yeah, we waited. Yeah, we waited. Yeah, we waited. Are we still bottom. in the ball? As You're it's in falling? the ball as it's falling now. Um, Shit. We're inside gonna... of the body, it's just rattling around. We'll do some skill challenges. So, yeah. you guys, your objective here is. Is Wait, to get I cast, out of I corpus. cast my anti-gravity feather fall on the ball. How <laughs> big of an item could you do that on? I can't. It has to be on people. <laughs> oh, I can use. <laughs> I, I can get cast it on us I can use levitate. Of the ball. I can oh. use levitate on an object up to five hundred pounds. Yeah. yeah it, okay. Well, Wait. This would, with this weight, more how much does the weight weigh with everybody inside? inside. I feel like this would weigh more than five hundred pounds. There is like nine yeah. of you in there. Yeah. Yeah. We weigh more, more than five. five. Bone slaw probably weighs more than five hundred just by himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, the the object can have levitate. Right. You're right. Actually, no. The object itself doesn't weigh five hundred pounds. Okay. It does say one creature or loose object of your choice. It is loose. It's very it, loose. It, it's a loose <laughs> object. <laughs> okay. No. No. And the object itself dazed. It takes days to evacuate a city. As we are going down, we are crushing people. I just want to no. point that out. Listen, I, no, I, I do want to stress that it's, the city's not as populous as you think, as you, you know. It's not it's a huge enough. city. It's like 62 people. It's in a bowl of like, It's maybe a couple thousand. A yeah. few thousand, okay. right? right? It would it's it would have taken maybe two hours, especially since yeah. most of the population I feel lives in the legs. Yes, yeah. Look, that's the main thing. Most of the people do live in the legs, so, so um, they would have just. Well, most of the people will yeah. crush one person on the way. Down. You probably will crush a couple of people who are slow. Maybe someone who's like no, elderly. the two people that decided to stay behind. Like fuck the government. <laughs> the two people that weren't convinced. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, he, I was bored here. What, and you, one of them tends to be like. I, I won't believe it until glass balls fall from the sky. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it ca so Norman, are you casting levitate? I will say it's yes. a, yeah, the object itself is lighter than 500 pounds. And uh, even though it's carrying something heavier than that contained within it. So you cast levitate on the ball and now you're floating in the middle of corpus. Uh, um, this was well, just to give us a second to think. What are we gonna yeah. do? So things are now uh, crashing down around you. I can make us invisible. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you, you can similar to Blackbeard levitate, right? When you levitate, you can move something that's levitating as you put force on it, and it will move. Uh, oh, just so do you all jump? just? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to cast Gust <gasps> oh. on the outside of the... Yeah, the you, can, you can do that. There are little, there are right, little holes, so you would be able to do that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to try and Gust and, and, and push us towards... Like a wall? And ex is there is there holes appearing in the walls? Well, that's what's up. As things are starting to crumble, you can see giant bits of sandstone coming uh -huh. off the, 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 the edge of the body of the the giant golem. So little bits of sunlight, and there are weak points all over. Um, how nothing many big enough for the ball yet. Of the, how many people are inside of this? Like ten. All right, let's, let's, oh, I'm just gonna okay. throw this oh, out there, guys. The Can we go out the ass? <laughs> <laughs> no. What about the poop dude? You got yeah. No. Hachiko, little feather, nerve, yog, um, bone slaw. Nine total. You got no, oh, July. Like, you got ten so people. Ten, was ten of you inside this levitating ball. Gust of I just want to point out real quick: the the target floats gently to the ground if when my spell ends. Oh, oh okay. Just... So when your spell ends, it won't just we won't just crash to the floor. No, no, we don't just instantly. Crash. You, you want to get out of the it, You can just cast it and then end concentration immediately and just. It's like a, yeah, yeah, but we, we if we can we're currently levitating. I'm casting a gust to sort of push us. Yes. In the direction yeah. towards it, what it seems like because it's going of how to be an open. the amount of people in the ball it is slow, but you're slowly. Yeah meandering towards one of the walls now uh -huh. uh, you see two old people look up and go Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you All just right. slowly crush them evacuate <laughs> Evacuate! you yell out um 
Uh, you got 10 minutes, okay. Anthony, the shark, either of you now have an opportunity to do anything. Um, you are, you're coming towards the wall, and there's like right, cracks uh, in the wall, but it's not quite a big enough opening for the, the ball to get out. I, will, I can't do anything. I'm a fighter. Uh, so all right, <laughs> I'm going to do at least... I'm going to cast Featherfall on five of us just in case something happens, you know? I so we don't fly, die if I we... Fa- well, let, I, yeah, <laughs> Little Feather can fly... Stars. I'll do feather fall on the four of us plus bone slaw. So there you go. <laughs> I can't do it for everybody. Wait, How many of us can five? fly? Uh, a lot of spells, guys. I literally have nothing. Little I can jump. Feather, little, little feather, feather can, fly, can fly, though. And then we're all the one of us have feather fall. Bone slaw could jump can, yeah. pretty far right now because he's got the jump. Bone can jump super far. Yeah, 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 that yeah, ended, and that ended, ended floor, right? that ended like a yeah, minute. If yeah, you yeah, give bone slaw feather fall, he could jump out of the ball and smash the wall to create an opening for you guys to get out. I gave him feather fall. I gave him that. So he could do that. So, because there okay. are there are four distinct holes in this in this ball where the valves used to be. So, Bone Slaw steps stands on the edge in the opening of the orb, and you see the cracks in the wall that you're trying to escape from. And he goes, "It is blo- Bone Slaw time," and he <laughs> leaps <laughs> into the air, feather fall, triple log jump, and he's going to punch this wall. Is this with like disadvantage or anything, or no? Oh no, he's it's just gonna be a straight a straight athletics check oh, nice. for him. He's yeah. he critically oh. succeeds the You're athletic check! <laughs> he crits the athletic check! He jumps forwards and this slams! Make sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's already a weak him. structure. This is and he's bigger because of Anthony as well. He's, he's bigger and he well, jumps longer. Well, okay, I mean that didn't all that stuff ended a while ago. Well, but, he's, uh, he's, 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 still, he's as big he's as he is. He's, he's a big fine. strong guy. It's fine. He's it's a fine. good strong guy. I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I could cast. I could cast jump again. And Lawrence yeah. was second level, but I could just do jump um, and then featherfall. I could do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he's not bigger, but he does have jump and featherfall. So yeah. <laughs> He got a crit with a letting. It's a thirty. Thirty That's means that insane. you you can get past impossible odds. Um, yeah. So all he's, four arms at once. Just all four boom. arms smash the wall, and the weak sand <laughs> crumbles around him, and it creates a a hole big enough for your orb to slowly float right, through. I'm, I'm still gusting. I'm just gusting, trying to push us through this hole as the things. He's collapsing. feather falling now down towards the desert. And your orb goes through wow. the hole, sort of like a, I don't know, like an anal bead. And yes. <laughs> an, ele- an elegant anal bead, yeah. Yeah. You know, when like an anal bead comes out, it's sort of. Rustage. Um, well, Language. Okay. I just so that people can picture the way that this once, giant orb is coming once, out of the sky. Once we're a little, you know, a little bit further out of Corpus. I mean, what, what does Corpus look like? Now as Corpus is a shambering, uh, like his head is falling apart. Um, oh god, that's and sad. The, all of the sand and it, parts of his his body that was like solid is now turning into just like running sand that's dripping mm. into the dunes. Um, you can see Palmo, who is standing on top of Corpus's head, and she's praying and looking up into the sky as she goes down with the uh, mm. giant sand mech. Down, uh, down. And you see pools of people dodging falling rocks and stuff in the sands um, as they are as they are in the desert and your orb is now sort of floating away um, you can end the spell to have it float down if you want Norman. Uh, um, alright guys Yeah. I end the spell and the, the orb floats down and lands poof, into the sand uh, we didn't die uh, Nerve is like throwing up <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Nerve. So is Julag, actually. They're both, they're both motion sick. Ah, they're good uh, friends. All right. I think this is a pretty somber moment for, for Cody. Yeah. He knows, just... first of all, that not everyone got out of the city. Definitely not. No, um, no way. And it's like, as much kill... as he obviously didn't like Pulmo, it was sad to see her going down. And he didn't need, he didn't want to kill the golem. We didn't it's see like, her there's, there's die. Of what she feels like survived. a necessary death. <laughs> um, so he's just, he's just gonna kneel in front of like the the ruins yeah. of the city now. A little feather will come up and put her wing around your shoulder. It is okay, Cody. Sometimes you did the best you could, and sometimes yeah. things have to be this way. Well, all right. I, mean, I, I do. I also want to survey them. 
the living. <laughs> so what's happening with out. the people who actually evacuated? Yeah, I'm gonna go help them out. A lot of too, a lot of them are now just running towards an adventure or whatever to get away from the falling debris. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, How far is Noventia from here? Uh, what was it, like half a day's journey? Half a day's journey, okay, yeah. shit, that's far. Alright. Uh, yeah, you go... <laughs> they, they, they're just hordes of people. A lot of these people are people that would have actually never socialized, you know, outside of a, a disaster. Yeah. You've got right, blood guys, force members time... and, you know, poor people and... Time and... for a 15 mile trek through the desert. <laughs> we can't leave yet. Yeah, I know we can't. As much as I'd like to. You need to be There's... in really good shape to survive 15 miles in the desert. A lot of these people are going to die. <laughs> yeah. Set up some kind of camp. Let's, yeah. uh... The shark starts leading them through the desert. <laughs> like Moses! Like oh Moses. my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know Jesus, so we can be Moses. Oh my god. Yeah. We, uh... Listen. Set up some kind of camp. Yeah. Whatever we can, whatever we can find in the in the the ruins of this. We city. have a lot of ruins. So I'm sure we can yeah. find some fire. There's gonna be plenty of some, food yeah. and water and whatever you in here. We just yeah, gotta that find it. Yeah, that has been crushed into uh, pieces. Yeah. Let's find anyone who's still alive inside of the rubble and any bodies. Let's make sure we bury them. Yeah. We it's, did. It's getting dark now we, as well. We did this, and we need to, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can sure we, we, I uh, seriously can Pitbull like help rally the people and like help an organized movement and like we're gonna prepare because we can't just leave these people. We we have mm -hmm. to. No, we we we've, we've got to bring them with us. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I need a survival check from Cody or from okay. whoever. Let's all hire um, them for the, my the survival is actually really good. <laughs> yeah. Um. One thing I was going to do is I was going to conjure animals. Oh, um, that's so and good. Use them to help us yeah, search yeah, yeah. the rubble. Yeah, um, you could do so that. I think I, I, I can actually crit? conjure. If it, if it was like, I don't know, like like dogs, wolves, something like that, I can conjure like up to eight of them. Yeah, mm. eight. So dogs I'm going to use a third help. level spell slot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hatchico totally can lead great. them as well. If you conjure yeah. eight dogs, Hatchico can lead them, and they could be part of like pulling things around, trying to save people, mm -hmm. sniffing out bodies from rubble and such. Yeah, um, and then I'll make a, there's debris a, a survival everywhere. Check, right? Yes. Okay. Can um, I have advantage? Uh oh gosh. Uh, oh wait, your advantage. Hachiko and the dogs give me advantage. Oh, on the survival oh check? sorry, that's not what the survival check's for. I get, oh um What is the survival check for? Well uh, we're gonna let's make two survival checks then. <laughs> Do okay. your advantage survival check for rebuilding the town, yes. Well not uh, rebuilding's a strong word. Salvaging, so, so lots salvaging. Of things we can. Yeah, camp. yes, yes. Yeah. Camp, making supplies and camps. Camp. Nineteen, 19. very good. All right. I need just a straight survival check for now that you're back into the desert. Oh, I see, I see. Fifteen. Fifteen. Cody, you, you're yeah. you're reconstructing things. Uh, kinda. I mean, you're getting slabs of stone that's yeah. still and trying to well, make them what, into what, like. What, what we're going to be doing essentially is is like getting wood, cloth, those mm -hmm. kinds of things, setting up tents. Like, because yeah. we're only going to be here the night. We need yeah. people to live here, and then we're going to try and get them to Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're we getting just need stone of people, and food and water, creating yeah. shelter, that sort of thing. Um, Burying the dead. In the distance, well, not in the distance. You don't see anything, but as you're as you're like moving stuff around, you do feel a slight rumble in the sands. Mm. Um, okay. And. From, is it from a specific area, or is it just sort of like the fall? Yeah, just that sort of sands rumble a little bit. Um, and I don't know if, Cody, you remember en route to, to Corpus, mm. uh, you saw that giant sort of sad worm in oh the distance. My God. Um, but now you can sort of see that same sand worm slowly start approaching the survivors. Oh, God. Oh, as shit. it smells blood. Oh people. fuck! Uh, did this count as a short rest? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's still right. quite far off though. All right, uh, we gotta uh, protect ourselves from that fucking thing. Do now. I get any spells back with short rest? You're a wizard, so yeah, you get. I, you have arcane recovery. Yeah, yeah, so whatever that says, I think it's half your level in terms of spell slots. So oh cool. So that's like I don't. Wait, we got a short rest. You guys will have yeah, enough time yeah, for do... a short rest if you want to hang around. Yes, I'm gonna get All my wild right. left. Okay, I am burning. Also, Cody, you have that spell refueling ring that Anthony gave you, if that's relevant to anything you want to do. That is so relevant because I, I, I am going to use it right now. <laughs> I'm burning all of my hit dice. 
Uh, everyone gets an extra D8 health from Hachiko's uh, Song of Rest. Okay, extra D8 health. Uh, I'm actually going to use... Right. Oh, we'll use, we'll use one. Seven. Okay. Are they temp hit points, or are they just extra, like, healing? No, I, I rolled they... the D8. It's a, it's an extra 8 for everyone. Oh, it's an extra uh, 8 for everyone. Yeah. And, it, and that's okay, actual healing. It's not temp hit points. That's healing. Oh, that's all I was asking, because I'm still yeah. at full, so it doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah. Right. Six. Keep three, hitting short rest, but it's four. not... Uh, just click your hit dice, King. Okay. That's that's what you do for your short rests. Uh, Anthony, you keep rolling D4s again. That's why you oh, keep shit. slow. <laughs> I thought well, you fixed what, it. Uh, what is Artificer? It's I think I did it for I did it for Kai. I don't think I did it for Anthony. Yeah, there you go. You can cover nine. Right, so you, you you guys doing that? Um, All right, I'm just gonna roll. But yeah, Nerve sort of reunites with his old uh, nice. rebellion members, and he he gets up and embraces them, and he's like, "We did it, guys. We took down the regime. We did it." Um. Oh, good. Good, good, good job, buddy. We did it. Cody, what was the How many times do I roll this? I'm sorry. As, uh, up, I, up to your level. Oh, if okay. you want to. I don't yeah, actually I think the, the spell yeah. that I wanted to use is going to work. Because mm -hmm. I'm Wonder assuming one. a sandworm probably isn't actually a beast, yeah. is it? And I, oh, good. I'm, I got back up to I, just under. I wonder. It might, it might be. Is it a monstrosity? Yeah, if it's a beast, then I'll have something to do. If it's something it like a monstrosity or an aberration or whatever, a dragon, I don't know. But let me look at it. Uh, it's an alien because it's from Dune. It's a monstrosity. <laughs> it's a monstrosity. Sorry. Mm. Okay. okay. And I'm not going to be able to use anything like beast bond or animal friendship to try and stop it from attacking. <laughs> I, I said <laughs> you stand worm. <laughs> okay. But Cody... You do see it slowly approaching. Okay, oh, I'm gonna have to alert everyone, right? Yeah, if you want to. Um, how do we stop? How big is it? Oh, as it gets closer, it's gargantuan. It's huge, God, and it starts dude. barreling towards the city. Fuck. The, the smell of what blood if, in the air. I get my spells. Guys, I, I could try to like lead it away. I could fly and like shoot a fireball at it and try to lead it off into a different direction. I don't know if that would work. If I could try to get its attention. I don't think that we can get everyone to safety. You guys do level time. up from from the whole finishing the corpus thing, by the way, guys. Right. <laughs> but but I say that. I don't think like we're, there's no way we can lead them to safety. Without like the worm's gonna catch up to us, and I don't even know if we yeah. can fight this worm. It might be very like there'll be tons of casualties. I can try, try and distract it, lead it in a different direction. It's the only we can thing give I can an think inspirational of. speech to try and get the entire population to fight it. I just they would worry they if would, you lead it. If you lead it in a different direction, die. how long will that last? How long could I fly for? I could put. Julag has reunited with some blood force members, and he comes up beside you, Cody. Yeah. Maybe it is time for us all to fight together as one. We... Alright. As much freedom fighting and releasing you from your bonds as we've done, we've also taken away your home and killed a lot of people in the last couple days. I don't want to have thrown everyone into the desert just for them to get killed by a giant worm. <laughs> yeah. This has to mean something. This has to be worth doing. Do we have any other option? We can evac we, we can make sure worm. that the civilians stay back. Yeah. Maybe maybe distract the worm, take him to a fight him. <laughs> Someone in chat just said sacrifice the civilians to the sad worm while you run away. <laughs> oh no. Oh, wow. They would never do that. No. No. Okay. I don't have much left gas in the tank, but I can still yeah. fight. I don't have a lot, but I can do something. Little Feather and like a few, a few, I'm trying to think who, who are like our weakest among our allies. They could lead the civilians. Mm -hmm. Little Feather for eventual. sure. Little Feather, yeah. Um, maybe that... Julag as well. Julag didn't want to fight. Nerve, you want to fight? If this is the last battle before freedom, I'm happy to fight. And you, you have just, my you can, okay. Thank you, you. You have the system by your side, and he has his gang of system fighters. Okay, the you've system. Got, you've got the blood force working side blood by force. side. The system. 
Oh, Wait, we have all, we have all the guys. Force helping us? That's yeah. actually really good. Yeah, you do. Shit, okay. All the ones that survived, at least. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Let's do this. Let's do all this, right, guys. Let's, Get the let's civilians go. out of here. And let's fight. Little Feather's like, let's okay, I will, I will lead the civilian evacuation. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. And I guess the dogs at Hachiko probably will as well. So she flies up into the sky and says, Civilians, follow me. We will make way to Novencia. The, the, and the dogs will be carrying food and supplies with them as yep. uh, these hordes of civilians start funneling in the opposite direction mm -hmm. of the giant worm. Sweet. Sweet. And the, and the ground it. rumbles. And it All right, rumbles. guys, we're doing this. <laughs> and th out through the sand, this giant purple gargantuan monstrosity bursts out and roars. <laughs> and as it screeches down <laughs> at you guys, it's hit with a beam of light from one side, and you turn to your left, and you see a beaten, bloodied Pomo told you, say, Pomo. Told you! Told I you she was the dead! And, um... Will be it to be continued. <laughs> no, 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 one shot. <laughs> Not a one oh, shot. No, definitely she just, didn't one shot it. She's, 